Hello everyone, it's Miss Luma here, a grade 4 teacher from Accra, Ghana. If you are new to my channel or you are a returning subscriber, I warmly, warmly, warmly welcome you. Now in today's video, I am going to tell you and show you how I surprised my students in their homes. Now we are still home because of the COVID-19 pandemic and when schools had to shut down and move, we had to move everything online. So even though there was some form of interaction do, um, via Zoom, it wasn't the same as seeing them physically. You know, when, when I'm seeing my students physically, we hug, we give high fives, you know, there, there are these little moments that we have physically. And everything was like cut off because of the pandemic and I thought about it, I kept on thinking about them, I still do think about them, I miss them, I thought about something that I could do to make them feel special whilst they are at home. I thought through a lot of options, you know, and prior to even thinking about this, I used to call them, send them messages when I can, but I felt it wasn't enough. I felt that there was something else that I could do to make them feel like at home. You know, all the things I would have done physically if we were in the face-to-face -face classroom setting, I, I wanted to do something similar, replicate something at home. So I got inspiration from a fellow YouTuber. Her name is Pockets Full of Primary. I saw what she did for her learners. I loved it. It was beautiful. I decided to, do, to also bring it to my setting. I decided to tweak it a bit, you know, to fit my environment. So what did I decide to do? I decided to write customized and personalized letters for each of my students. I decided to write each person's own differently because you know they're all different and I wanted each student to have their own moment. Now writing the letters for each of my students was such a beautiful experience you know. It gave me a deeper insight into the level of connection I had built with each of my students and it made me know the area that I needed to work on but it was beautiful. I, I It just brought back memories of all the moments we've had in the classroom prior to the lockdown and putting all that on paper, writing them the personalized notes was such a beautiful experience for me. For me it was like you know what can you do better aside all these moving forward what can you do better to make their experience in your classroom a beautiful one and moving forward is something that i would incorporate into my teacher you know student moments and my routines i'll do that a lot for my students i'll drop them a note here and there something to make them feel a part of my space it's to make them always think that i care about them and i want them to be better so let's go to my laptop and i'll show you how i created the letters for each of them so I used Canva to design the letters, okay? When you open Canva, this is how it looks like. I have a video on my channel on how I use Canva to prepare my slides. But this time, I used it to design my letters. So I typed, I searched for a letter template in the Canva app. And when I got the template, I worked on a blank sheet. So there are lots of templates for you to choose from. But I like to always work on a blank template because I like to build stuff from scratch. So I, I'm going to pick the blank template. So this is what it looks like when you open a blank letter sheet. Okay, so we are going to work on this and build it from scratch. I'm going to zoom in to like 50%. Yes, so we're going to see things clearly. So the first thing I did was to customize the page. Okay, so I went to elements and I searched for flower because I wanted my background to have the flower, you know, look. Now, I can't find the exact flower I used for, for the letter, but we are going to make any of the flowers here work. Now, I'm using the free Canva app, so I can't pick a flower that is, like, paid for. I have to pick one that is free. So I'm going to look through, and I think I like this. Okay, and I'm going to duplicate this. So to duplicate this, I'm just going to click on this to duplicate it. And I'm going to move it to position. Let me try another one. Dupli I think this is fine. It's fine. So I'm going to move this to position. Now, I don't want this to compete with my text. So I'm going to reduce the transparency to like 27. I'm going to do the same for this. I'm going to reduce the transparency, sorry, to a 27. 
everything. Now that I have everything just the way I want it, I'm going to lock these images so they don't move around. Okay, so I'm just going to lock it here and lock it here. And there you have it. Now, after adding my background, you know, I like how it's looking. It looks like where my, the letters I used to receive when I was in secondary school. The next thing I did was to add text. So I'm just going to click text. And the text I used for the letters were play script, playlist script and Alice. So I just click on this one and it's going to show up here. And I'm going to use this for my text box. Now, good. So I'm going to change the font. So as I said earlier, I used Alice and Playlist Script. So I used Playlist Script for the salutation and the uh, ending. And then I used Alice for the main body. Now I'm not going to write a letter. I'm not going to write. I'll, I'll show you how it looked like the end result of the letter. But I'm just showing you the text I use so that you just get an idea of what to do when you want to do same for your learners. So this is how it looks like, okay? Um, I started with my dearest and I put the person's name here and I went on with how are you. So the text continues. So this is the Alice text and this is playlist script and then I ended with love Miss Lumo. So I, like I said, I'll show you how it looked like, the final um, product. So I just went on and on and on. The template was the same for everybody, but the content was different for everybody. Now, when I was done, I added a bit Muji at the top here and at the bottom. I'm going to show you in a bit. So Bitmojis are like avatars you create of yourself. So I've linked my Bitmoji, my Snapchat Bitmoji to my Canva account. And I've also linked the Bitmoji itself, their app on my phone to my Google account. So I picked um, my avatar from this side and I used and I customized it to, um, to suit the letter. I'll show you that in a bit. So I picked this. Okay, I can't find the second one that I picked, but I'm going to use this. This also works perfectly well. Okay, I use these to um, customize so the letter. So this is how it appears on the letter. I resized it and then I dragged it to position. I also flipped it. Okay, just so that it would look the they would look the opposite way. So I flipped it horizontally and then I dragged it to position. I dragged it here. Okay. When I was done, I picked a second one and then I dropped it here. I'm going to pick that second one for you shortly. So I found the second one I used. Okay, I'm going to resize it and then I'm going to drag it to the position that I want. So I put this one, okay, right under the Miss Lumo. So I'm dragging it here. And I'm going to move. Yes, this is fine. So this is how it looked like finally. Okay, so the letter, the body of the letter was here, and then these were also here. I also added, added, sorry, um, a love emoji. Okay, I've also added an emoji to my Google Chrome. So I just picked the love emoji from here, and then I dropped it here. So one trick is to lock the images so they don't move around. You know, so I'm just going to highlight all of them, and I'm going to lock them. So it's locked. I'm going to highlight this. I don't want to lock this because I'm just going to lock that. Yeah. So I've locked everything. So they will all not move around. Okay. The only thing that will probably move around is this because it depends on the number of words that I'll write for a particular student. So this is how I created the template for the letter. I'm going to show you, okay, the final product in a bit. So this is how the final product looks like, okay? So we have the Bitmoji here, the Bitmoji there, then the body and then the flower in the background. Now, I couldn't find this for the previous one. I think that the other one also works fine. This is how it looked like. I also changed the name as I downloaded it. I downloaded it one by one for each student. It was my choice, really, because I didn't want a situation where everything would be jammed up. So I named each letter as it downloaded. And I downloaded the file as a PDF. I chose to do it that way. You can also choose to do it in any which way you want, but I chose to do it as a PDF because it works well for me. So this is how it looks like, finally. So I duplicated the entire 
um, letter for the next person, but I changed the content to suit the particular student. It's beautiful. I love it. So I downloaded all the files onto a folder in my laptop and then I sent it to the parent via WhatsApp and the parent also sent it to them. Now the feedback was amazing, it was mind blowing, you know, the parents kept on coming back to say thank you, the students themselves came back to, to say thank you. Ultimately, the purpose of getting my learners to feel special, making them know that I still think about them, I still care about them even in this era was achieved and that to me was the highlight of it all. You know, the fact that I was able to put a smile on their faces, even in their homes, it was a beautiful experience. So I hope you le you've learned something new and I hope that you, you can also replicate something similar, even do something more for your students. Make them know that you appreciate them and you think about them and you also care about them. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't done that already. Click on the subscribe button and also click on the notification button so I get notified anytime I drop a new video. Drop a comment for your sweet girl, like, share. You can also find links to my other videos down there so you can go watch, check them out. Till I come your way again with another video, it's Miss Lobo signing out. Bye!